Welcome, I'm Alex and today we are going to show you how to use iTree Studio, our free pre-installed software suite on the iTree Touch range. iTree Studio delivers a new standard in simplicity and flexibility with a toolbox that gets any job done. Be the best teacher, presenter or administrator thanks to our feature extensive solution offering a high level of personalization, flexibility, and integrated support, right out of the box. First of all, it helps you to work together on an easy to use interactive display. Secondly, it has all the tools you need at hand to write, present, collaborate, or video conference. And the software is self-explanatory intuitive, hassle-free and user-friendly to guarantee successful lessons and meetings. i3 Studio is developed for the i3 Touch range and i360 Pro. First of all, we need a recent i3 Touch or i360 Pro up to date with the latest firmware. If you are not sure if you have the latest firmware, please check your display settings. The latest firmware can be installed by our cloud-based over-the-air platform. Before we start, we have to run through the wizard configuration. Let's get started. First of all, you will have to choose your language. In this case, we choose for English, confirm. Then we have to connect the display to our Wi-Fi. Here uh, we have already uh, pre-configured this Wi-Fi. I don't need to add the credentials. The next step is that uh, the wizard will check if there are some firmware updates available. In this case, we are already on the latest firmware, so no need to update here. Uh, then we can give our device a unique name. Um, if we are using i3 RDM, our remote device management system, in this step, we can actually pair this device with our i3 RDM account. Uh, I will skip that for a second because we have a specific uh, how-to video for RDM. And then um, we have three choices, um, depending on in which environment we will use the i3 Touch. You can choose for the corporate education, or if you want to use the i3 Touch just as a simple flip chart, you only want to use the whiteboard function, you can choose for a flip chart. In this case, we go for the education. Um, then the time zone where you are in, you can choose. Um, the wizard will ask you to confirm the date and time, but that will go automatically, normally. And we are done. We have to complete it, the wizard. We have created a new sleek and simple design to help you navigate to your apps easily. If you look at the home screen, it's very similar to your personal devices. This is the place where you will always start your lesson or your meeting and where you have direct access to your main apps. The main apps are pre-configured by i3 Studio, but of course it's possible to personalize and to add as many apps, web links or inputs such as OPS or HDMI as you want. No limitations. The first and most used app is the whiteboard. Take advantage of the infinite canvas, manipulate objects, bring in screenshots and share your content instantly via a QR code. For all details about the whiteboard app, please check the detailed how-to video. The next app is Present. Share your screen wirelessly with the integrated presenting app, compatible with Windows, Mac, Google and Android and benefit from the picture-in-picture -picture option or share with up to six devices simultaneously. The last pre-configured button is the essential browser for quick web searches. Let's have a look at the side menu. The easy to use side menu is available on both sides of the display and is always on top. When you open it, you will, you will immediately see that you have access to the main apps um, and that helps you to save a lot of time because you don't need to navigate every time to the home screen. So just uh, open the side menu and switch to the next app that you want to use. Of course, you have also the possibility to move back to your home screen. 
Um, you can also uh, choose an input. You can see here immediately that the inputs that are not available are grayed out and where there is something connected, um, it's, uh, it will uh, be in a color. You can also lock the screen here and also power off uh, the screen at the end of your lesson. And the last one is of course the volume control um, that also saves a lot of time because you don't need your remote control. Just open the sign menu and you can quickly adjust your volume. At the bottom of the screen we have the swipe up menu. The apps you use less frequently can be accessed via the swipe up menu rather than the home screen. Via the support button there is also a direct link to the manual if needed. The notifications icon will be highlighted to indicate when there are notifications uh, about updates available. All other configurations are accessible via the settings. In the launcher settings you have quick access to the network settings and it's possible to change the appearance to your theme. Via the widget settings, we can enrich and customize the home screen. Add as many apps and web links as you want, or create a shortcut to a specific input. By pressing the Android button, you will have access to all the Android settings concerning your device, like energy, sleep, timer, uh, sensors, and many more. First of all, it's an effective solution that lets you embrace technology in a natural and intuitive way. Secondly, it saves you time with productivity tools like whiteboarding, wireless screen sharing and annotating. And thirdly, the ability to customize the i3 Touch to the way you prefer. For more information, please check out our website or social media channels. Bye!